What's up guys, it's Rock here. Welcome back to Gaming with Cosplay 2 All, the channel where I post all my other gaming content. So today we have Marvel Strike Force and we're going to be getting into some of the Parasite Orbs. I've been sitting on this for a couple days. I've been grinding it out, having fun with Marvel Strike Force, getting a lot of my characters upgraded and using the new IO, IS, IO8, ISO8? Yeah, ISO8 for my Wolverine. I'm currently focusing on one by one. We have another deal going on right there. But one by one, getting everything in each spot maxed out to the most capability. Yeah, the ISO 8's coming in handy on getting a little bit better at where I'm at in levels. So we're not here today for that. We're actually here to open up these orbs to see if your guys in time is worth getting screen. Now, to start things off, I am a big Venom fan, so the symbiotes are a big part of what I want to collect on Marvel Strike Force, so that's definitely the main reason why I've been pretty much farming it out grinding as hard as I can with getting scream under my belt some scream orbs um, and this is the free way to do it to grind out the event hopefully you have strong enough characters to to do what needs to be done otherwise it does become very difficult we're getting a lot of Captain America's even though we maxed them out already we're getting a decent amount Ooh, Deadpool 2 we have Deadpool so now we need we have some more stuff for Ultimus and we're just going to slowly but surely collect little shards here and there for Scream. I'm pretty sure we should be able to open her up today. Take a look at her stats. Get a feel. Get an idea of where I want to go with her on what's going to happen when I attach the ISO 8s. Because you can attach different ones to different people and you can make them do different things. All right, we're so close. We only have two orbs left. We need one 18 orb for Scream. We just need one. I don't think we're going to end it. So we're not going to get Scream today. We're not going to get Scream, but we're super close to getting it. We still should be able to look at our stats without a problem, though. So luckily we got that. We just got so many for Ultimus Orbs. I have no idea why. It is what it is. Okay. So I've already favorited Scream. Take a look at these stats. She's a villain, city, bio, controller, spider-verse, symbiote, metaphor, metaphor, for Metamorphosis, Mast ca uh, Caper, I don't know why it was like that, but we got Symbiote abilities here, we're probably going to get her right around level 3, so we'll get an additional 20% damage there, plus 30% damage to primary target, and then we get a chain to one adjacent target for 60% damage, this attack can chain to stealth target, so regardless if the team is in stealth mode or not this can be attached to them and then of course the basic one right there so really good pretty decent all right so this one is attack primary target for 90 percent damage chain two adjacent targets for 50 percent of the damage and then it just continuously goes up get another uh you get a clear to one positive effect from primary and secondary targets really good there and then you get another positive effect from primary and second target. Another increase in damage. More damage. You get apply offense down. This is something that I need and want to highly focus on. Get that offense down so they can't hit as hard. And then clear two positive effects on primary and secondary targets. 40% damage there. Really good there. That's probably one of the ones you really want to try to use as often as possible. Of course, everything's on the limit. And then her little symbiotic attachments. On death of any character, heal all symbiote allies for 5% of this character's max health. Really good there to revive your symbiote team, your Venom, Carnage, uh, symbiote black suit, Spider-Man. Really strong team to do that with right there. And of course, you get 5% healing at the end of uh, at level 5. So any healing is a good positive in my book. And then hair trigger. Level four is the primary goals to get that apply the slow to primary and secondary targets. Really, really good there. As well as the uh, level six. Apply disrupted to primary and secondary targets. So we get some good fun stuff there. This is kind of why I want to uh, get Scream. One, because I'm working on a Venom and Ch Carnage lead team. Um, I have them up, as you guys can see, they're, I've added them to my favorites. I got a Spider-Verse thing that I'm working on. I'm trying to pull as many Spider-Man symbiotes from the milestones 
um, as much as I can. Hopefully, I can get him unlocked soon because it would be great to add him to the team and do some more damage and stuff like that with the symbiote team. Not They're not so strong, but they are up there. I am currently working on them, but I'm currently working on a mystic team because I want to get through the, some of the story events to unlock some auto battles for better gear. So if you guys want to see more Marvel Strike Force content, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll get to it. And other than that, I will post Marvel content as best as I can on the channel. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.